hello everyone welcome to sap street so in this video i'm going to show an example of how to call a http request sorry how to make an http request to the internet from a web server so for this demo i have taken an example so where we have an input search field where you can search for your favorite movie and it will crawl to the internet and fetch me the date which the movie released and the plot of the movie okay so in this example i'm going to show you the entire code and the steps that you need to follow so all i'm doing is i will search for a movie for example let's say avengers and i'll click on search so i'll get the release date and the plot if i search for avengers endgame i get the release date and the plot of that movie so in this video i am going to show you the entire code and the steps stay tuned okay welcome back so here before we actually code i need to show some of the steps that you need to follow to make this call to the internet so the first step is we need to find an api so api which can be freely available in the internet also there may be scenarios in your project where you need to make get some data from external servers so to get external data we need some urls okay so for that so to showcase an example so i went to this website where any api.com where you can see a lot of databases which are available free available for free so here they have mentioned different website how you can access the data so each uh, section or which uh, card that you see here will contain the documentation of its specific uh, specific uh, requirements to make calls to and such uh, to those websites so for our example i have chosen omdp api so this is actually the open movie database where we can get uh, movie information so when i go to here when i go here so this is the place where you could find the document you just simply click on this document and it will navigate to the respective website so there are different options here uses examples okay so our important the important part is examples so this is where actually the things happen so our aim is to get the api url right so we need to find out how the url generates for a particular movie that i search so suppose if i search here click on search so results or i'm getting the response from this uh, for this call where i have clicked so this is the actual url which is responsible for bringing the data for me okay so when i click here I can see this is a url but one thing is missing here that is no api key for provided so in order to make a call to this server we need to have an api key so luckily this website will provide you the api key okay so along with the url so when you look at this url the name that you're looking for is actually uh, starts here like we have a parameter called t equals to the movie name that you would like to search here okay so along with it we need to add the api key so how do you get the api key so just simply click here and you can click choose this radio button for account type provide uh, provide your email address name and just a small description and click on submit so you will receive an uh, email with the api key okay so all you have to do is press ampersand sorry type ampersand api key equals to i have already an api key which i'm using this is the one okay you can remove the last parameter so this is my api key which i'm using so if you want to interest you can try this with this api at the time you're watching if it is activated you can get the access with this api key as well so if i click this URI so this is a main URI that I can get the information 
okay so this is the response which i'm getting so there are different properties like title year rated released okay and the runtime as well so i'm only interested in two properties one in which year it has released and the plot of the movie so if you can see this entire response it is difficult little difficult for me to read okay so what i will do is i'll just simply copy this there is a website a website called json formatter okay you just simply type json format so you just copy paste the response here and click on process so it will show the response in a readable format okay okay so we have these properties rated and all so what i'm telling you is i'm interested in only the year when it is released and release date sorry and the plot so i'm going to get only these two information okay so now we are done with the so now we have got the api url so this is the url that is responsible so while i have all i have to do is i need to make a http request with this url from my app code so okay so this is the url that i need now let's get into the coding part okay so this is a coding part that we are interested in and actual coding actually i have provided this entire code in my github link so you can find it in the description the i have given the link for this uh, code github link in the, for this code in my disk sorry okay so here this is my url okay now i got the url and the movie which you are searching for i'm just simply concatenating with this p equals to okay so t is a parameter and movie will be the value name that we are searching for so create you by url which actually creates the request all you have all you have to do is just simply pass the url okay? we'll receive a http client reference using this reference we have to set some parameters here okay we have to set some header fields for the request which are like what is the type of method like http method whether it is a get method post method etc okay so we are interested in getting the response so we'll set the method as get and also what is the content type okay so these are the default header fields that we need to set for any http request okay once we set this so we need to call the method send where it will actually send the request to the internet and in the next step we'll receive the results from that request so if there are any errors while making a request in the internet so we'll receive some information using this method so we can get the information so whether it is failed or success so once i mean we once you got the status and you can read the response from the request you can read the response from the request using the method get c data so which actually gives a string okay so this string we need to convert into a readable format that it can be a structure or internal table okay so if i look at the response here basically the response which i see is in a structure format right there are no uh, what you would say arrays like multiple rows okay this is a single request but if you look at the there is one property called ratings okay when i click on this minus button expand button i see an array here okay so i can imagine this as an internal table with in a structure so if you are able to understand what i'm telling so it's like a deep structure so my deep structure has all these fields and there is one more field called ratings which is a table internal table which is having source and value as the fields okay so if you are interested in this table as well we can also get so in order to convert this json format so the entire json format we need to convert into an above structure so we have to prepare a structure with the similar field names okay 
we have to create a structure similar field names the reason is the response that we will receive from this is will be in a json format so we have to convert this json format into a readable format for that i have prepared this structure so i have i am interested in only three fields one is title released and plot okay so title release and plot so for that reason i have prepared only these three uh, fields in my structure if you want you can create all these fields in that structure so which you can see here in this structure you can have an internal table within this to get the ratings as well so that i will leave it to you if you want to go ahead so all you have to do is in order to receive the result ratings as well you have to create an internal table within this structure with the fields source and value so how do i know that i have to create an internal table within this structure the main identification is you have to find if you find a square brackets within this you will find different properties okay so whenever there is a square bracket you can assume that you need to have a div structure to receive these results as well okay so i created the structure with the same field names as in the json format okay so now my response is uh, once i have so with that i have created a structure whatever the response that i am receiving from here i am passing this to this method called deserialize which will convert a json format into a readable format okay so i am passing my structure so whatever the data which is in json format will be converted into my respective structure what i am doing i am simply taking the values from the structure released and the plot okay and i activate this now i can search for the movie and it will give me the results so if you can debug you will get more idea i click on slash h debug so here you will get a clear idea like what is exactly happening inside so when we prepare the url so we are passing the url to the http client class and here we are setting the methods get and also the content type as well we are sending the request so i see size of us equal to zero that means we are good and we are receiving the results so, and also you can see the status here so 200 always indicates a success and it is saying okay now this is the interesting part this is where we actually get the response in a json format so if i click on f6 so the entire response that you can see here is being captured okay so this with this string this is in a json format i need to convert into a different structure so this is a structure that i am passing to deserialize method where i have where i have these three fields now my response is converted into my structure title release plot so it actually do a, a kind of move corresponding what are the fields that you have created out of this response json re response those fields only will be moved to your structure with corresponding same field names okay what i'm doing i'm just simply displaying those fields that's it okay hope you find it interesting if you find it in i mean useful please do a like subscribe share with your friends and there will be more interesting topics i would like to show in this uh what you call um, channel okay make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you'll get notified thanks for watching